hello welcome to the area solution channel in this video i will be presenting to us uniformly accelerated motion and i'll start by deriving some of the equations that are basics for solving problems in which the acceleration is constant for rectilinear motion that's motion in a straight line wherein the acceleration is constant and we must first note the basic equation for uniform motion uniform motion is different from uniformly accelerated motion in that for uniform motion um, acceleration is zero and the velocity is constant and we've said earlier that there are two that there are two fundamental equations for rectilinear motion we have the first one that defines instantaneous velocity which is equal to the derivative of distance with time that's e and the second one that defines instantaneous acceleration which is equivalent to the derivative of velocity with time that a is equal to dv dt so because a is zero for uniform motion so we're going to take away um, the equation for acceleration and we're working with just the equation for velocity and um, such that if we rearrange this we are going to get um, ds dt to be equal to v if we cross multiply or if we multiply both sides by dt we have another equation and if we integrate this equation taking limits as bounds from s0 to x1 and and time which has progressed from zero to the instantaneous time that's the time of concern we get one simple equation which is x1 is equal to x1 minus x0 is equal to v2 and that can be arranged to rearranged to be x1 is equal to s0 plus vt so this is the valid equation for uniform motion sometimes s0 is taken as zero so we can have distance to be just the product of velocity and time so this equation is valid just for uniform motion however for um, uniformly accelerated motion the case is different it is different in that acceleration is constant it's not equal to zero that a is equal to d v dt such that we can cross multiply to have another equation a dt is equal to dv and um, as well as um, introduce our integration sign integrating the v from v0 to v1 and integrating our a dt from zero to time if we integrate this equation we get v1 minus v0 is equal to a into t minus zero and that will give us our first equation for uniformly accelerated motion which is v1 is equal to v0 plus at where v1 is the instantaneous velocity v0 is the initial velocity a is the acceleration and t is the time so these are basic equation this is our this is our first equation of motion for uniformly accelerated motion also if we call back this equation v is equal to ds dt which is our second basic equation for all rectilinear motion we can recall that we've derived that v is equal to v naught plus at and then um, we can replace v the value of v in the first equation v equal to ds dt to have v naught plus at to be equal to ds dt such that um we can multiply both sides of the equation by dt to have a new form of the equation and then introduce our integral sign integral sign taking our limits from um, s0 to x1 and from 0 to t and if that is done we have another equation after integrating to be x1 minus x0 to be equal to vt v0 t plus half it is square and this is our second equation of motion and finally if we bring our two equations v is equal to ds dt and a is equal to dv dt such that we make dt subjects of formula for both equations we discover that two sides of the equation can be said to be equal because they are both equal to dt such that we have dv over a to be equal to ds over v and if we cross multiply both sides of the equation we have v dv is equal to a ds if we integrate this equation taking our limit for v to be from v naught which is the initial velocity to the final and x naught to x which is from the original position to the current position we have another equation of motion
to be v1 square is equal to v0 square plus 2a x minus x1 so basically there are three key equations that are applied for solving problem of uniformly accelerated motion and all these terms are familiar with us v0 is the initial velocity v1 is the final velocity x0 initial position x is the final position t is time and a is the acceleration i want to thank you for your time and thank you for watching do it to subscribe to my channel and um, click on the alert button to get notified when new videos are uploaded